you believe him? Well, I guess. What do you mean you guess? We, we did a very deep dive. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Grim. Today we have one of my favorite little subgenres of videos that I cover on this channel, which is old people getting catfished, which sounds so wrong of me to say, but I don't know why. These are just super entertaining stories of people that just should not have access to the internet, yet they do, and they somehow get scammed for their entire life savings. And I gotta say, the lady in today's video might be the highest monetary amount that I have seen sent out to a scammer in the past. So without any further ado, let's just get right into it and hear from her family on just how much this old lady has been getting finessed by some random dude that says he's in Nigeria and stuck there and apparently needs, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars to leave and come back home. You, you were saying you thought it could be as much as $170,000. Yes. Well, that's outrageous. I mean, how? that's that's a lot of money. Yes, it is. So this is Stacy, who claims that she believes her mom has given up $170,000 to this random scammer. That's right. That's more than most people will have in their savings ever in their lifetime, I'd assume. And I'm guessing this woman worked a very long time to save up that amount of money. So it's very sad that she has been completely robbed of it, basically through her own stupidity and foolishness on the internet. And this is something that I'm advocating more and more now that I see just how many people are getting scammed. But I feel like we should have a driver's test for the internet, but for like old people you know there should be a certain class that you have to go to as soon as you hit i don't know 65 70 where you are learning the basics of cybersecurity and how these scams work because this stuff is archaic at this point it's been going for decades on the internet and people are still falling for it for even bigger numbers than this i'm sure i'm sure there's people that have lost millions of dollars on this but let's not make hers seem small at all okay One hundred and seventy thousand dollars is a metric crap ton of money you didn't want to talk about money why not after the fact see the mistake and i just want to forget it and move on oh and we already got some tears from the lady here you know the worst part of this is in most of these situations it's just an old person that is so lonely that any sort of connection that they can you know gather through online dating is just something that they eat up and they latch onto it and when they see these red flags that the average person would see and understand okay maybe this person's lying you know maybe i'm getting finessed like i was saying and might be getting scammed they look right past all those major red flags because they want to them not being lonely is worth more than losing all of their money if that makes sense which is so sad but that just shows the true depths that loneliness can take you to especially when you're in old age so if you're watching this video and your grandparents are alive give them a call okay i'm sure they'd enjoy to hear from you because as you get older i gotta imagine things get really freaking lonely Yo, really quick, I know I say this a lot, but a large chunk of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed, which is low-key a little bit whack, I will say that. If you are not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscription button below, as well as the bell so you never miss an upload of mine, and leave a comment and a like if you're enjoying the video. It really does help out the channel so much. Anyways, let's get back into the video. You're wrong. She really didn't send him $170,000. She had five different transactions uh, for a grand total of $230,000. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and it just gets worse. That's right, I did not clickbait you with this title. She actually sent $230,000, which is quite a bit more than her daughter's already high guesstimate of 170 k 170 k would be, you know, way too much for the average person to lose and be able to handle, but 230, an extra 60 grand there, almost a quarter million dollars. That is just absolutely devastating. So I can see why this old lady has not been wanting to come to terms with the fact that she's been scammed. Because who would want to admit to themselves that they lost their entire life's work worth of savings over someone that doesn't actually exist. How long did it take you to save that money, Gail? Long time. Yes. What did, what did Fallon Galvin look like? And call me crazy, but I feel like Dr. Phil pressing onto this part of it is a little bit malicious from his end. Like <laughs> he doesn't have to make her think about how long she worked for the money. The money's already gone, okay? The mistake's already been made. From now on, you gotta be trying to coach her on how to learn better so she doesn't get catfished again. But making her dwell on this amount that she lost and making her cry some more just seems kind of mean. Also, this guy that <laughs> she fell for, his name is Fallon Galvin, which I know there's some weird names out there, but I just laugh at it. 
every one of these scams that involves someone in a foreign country making up a fake person that's supposed to be American and is stuck overseas, yada yada, you know the whole scam. We've gone over it multiple times in the past, but it's so funny how weird these names always are. It's just like you went into a randomizer, but the AI like isn't trained that well, so it's just making up a bunch of weird names that don't really exist. If anything, that just sounds like two different last names. Fallon Galvin, I love it. That, that's who it actually is. Well, that's not the picture that I had of Fallon. Yeah, well, this is the individual. And see, she's even confused here. Dr. Phil's showing her the actual person that's behind all this scamming, you know, the person that's running the account. And she's like, yes, that is a different picture than what I thought Fallon looked like. Like, yeah, that's exactly what he's getting to. <laughs> I think this woman's just too old and completely lost at this point because she doesn't even understand what the segment's about. Yeah, we've gotten past that point. Clearly, that is not the person you were talking to. But just watch her response right here. It's so weird how nonchalant she is about being shown who the actual scammer is. Uh, the way she responds makes me think she's already done enough digging to find this out herself and is totally unfazed by it. So either $230,000 isn't a lot for this lady or she is just so far gone in this that she's like, oh, yeah, that's who it is. I don't really care. He still was nice to me. Well, here's a quarter million of your dollars and you don't have anything to say to him? Well, yeah, I told him I wanted my money back. Uh, this woman's just too sweet for her own good. She's never getting that freaking money back. I'm sorry. I don't care how good Dr. Phil's legal team is. There is no way they are tracking this money down. It has definitely already been converted to some sort of cryptocurrency and is so far away from the original transaction that you are never finding that, okay? Again, that's just a weird response for me, but now we're gonna fast forward here and Dr. Phil actually tracks down the man whose pictures were being used and turns out he's an internationally known famous like super author from South America and he has written I don't know like 20 books or something is a motivational speaker like I said how she was not able to have anyone reverse Google image search this guy before she sent $230,000 I don't know but again a lot of people just don't know that exists and uh, an old person like this is definitely not gonna know so Carlos have you ever traveled to Nigeria Carlos alguna vez ha viajado a Nigeria nunca jamás never and obviously this guy's never been to Nigeria, doesn't know this woman, has never spoken to her. It's it's like the same situation as these other people that got scammed, you know? Obviously this person is just as much of a victim as the lady he's being impersonated by with these scammers, and that's gotta be a pretty crappy feeling. Although it is pretty crazy. I remember a video I did earlier this year, or maybe last year, where there was a person getting catfished and the guy whose pictures were being used was actually helping with the scam. Now I doubt that's actually happening here as this guy is very successful, as I said said a uh, multiple book author I don't know how to phrase that but he's just done a lot with his life besides scamming old people so I don't think that would just be a side hobby for this guy this is her favorite picture so yo sin duda alguna soy yo no doubt it is me uh what are your dog's names and yeah, they pull up a picture of him with his dog. So for further proof, he even calls his dog over and has it sit on his lap. I don't know what more proof you would need, woman, to believe that you have been completely finessed by some scammer. And this guy is not the person you've been talking to. But wait until you see this response after they show the guy with the freaking dog. I am just appalled at the level of ignorance that this lady has. She is so not wanting to believe that she's fallen victim to the scam, which again is a total, you know, logical fallacy. I feel like I would fall under if I was also scammed out of $230,000. Not that I have that to my name or probably will ever in my life, but you know, you don't wanna admit that you fell for it L that big because that's just embarrassing and that's a whole lifetime of work that you've lost. But yeah, check out this response. Do you believe him? Well, I guess. What do you mean you guess? We, we did a very deep dive. He is internationally renowned okay. as a motivational speaker. Oh, old people are so stubborn sometimes, bro. What do you mean you guess? I'm with Dr. Phil on this one. Like there is no more evidence that you need to be shown. They even went to Nigeria where this guy said he was located and went to this random hotel that, that he gave her for an address and they don't even have a room with that number. He said he was in room 400 and they start at room 401 and go on from there, which I could have told you. That's how every freaking hotel works. So this scammer is not very smart, but neither is this lady if she fell for it this hard. I hate to say it, but she's so gullible and naive, it hurts me. He says that he's very sorry and uh, we have to be more aware and more vigilant because there are many people who are trying to, yes. to uh, um, fake people out. 
So yeah, I guess that's the resolution. The guy gives his condolences, which there's not much else you can do there. It's not like they're gonna go and start a relationship. I'm sure this guy's happily married, has his own life of his own, is not connected to the situation at all. And uh, I guess after this indisputable proof from Dr. Phil, this lady's gonna have to take time and come to grips with the fact that she has been completely robbed of her life savings by this scammer. Now, I'm a little bit sad we weren't able to track down the scammer. I love that side of things, but let me know what you thought of this entire video down in the comments below because this was quite crazy to me. I cannot believe that someone would be willing to give someone money that they'd never met. This large amount of money as well. Again, it's just showing the true depths of loneliness that you can reach as an old person. So if anything, this story is just kind of sad. Well, no, it's really sad. So yeah, again, check up on your grandparents. Make sure they're not lonely. Make sure they're also not e-dating because that just will lead to bad things. Like make them date other people in the senior center they're in or something. Don't allow them access to e-harmony or anything like that, bro. They're gonna get finessed, okay? So yeah, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. And until next time, peace out.